happy Thanksgiving, or by the time you see this, happy belated Thanksgiving. We are doing a 5k this morning. Notice how I didn't say running, because I will not be running. I will be walking a 5k this morning, and Caswin will be running. So, yay. And then Caswin's cooking dinner. Good. But in all that, I'll be reading. So I'm walking this 5k, and I will be listening to Hush Hush. This is a reread of Hush Hush, and that's by Becca Fitzpatrick. Um, I'm 25% into the audiobook. It's taking me forever to listen to it. So, yeah, I plan to get a lot of reading done. I have a four day weekend, so I'm very excited to read and watch Hallmark movies and basically do nothing and eat. So, welcome to the reading vlog. No, let's start over. So, <laughs> welcome to the weekend reading vlog number two. Just finished the 5K. Castleman got fifth overall, and I finished, so that was great. While I was crossing the finish line, Taylor was playing, so now we're waiting because Castleman's gonna get an award, and I got cookies, so things are going well. Plays Curtis Arena. <laughs> the Lord has blessed us because Starbucks is still open today on Thanksgiving, so got my Starbucks. Very excited. I am now 50% into Hush Hush. And I don't know if it's the narrator or the book, but it ain't good. But I'm gonna finish it. I don't know why. Normally, you know me, I DNF a book, but I just feel like I'm gonna finish it. It's an audiobook, it's fine. Okay, we're back home. I'm showered and I am sliding. Ooh, it's better. Caswin's watching football, which I'm not going to do, but I am 100 pages into, oh no, oh no, The Song Will Save Your Life by Lila Sales. The first two chapters were really triggering, but it is no longer triggering, and it's good. So I plan to finish it today and start another book today. So... That's the plan. I'm trying to read a book a day, so four books this weekend. Can we do it? I think so. Honestly, I'm just really excited for mashed potatoes, so yay. Okay, so I'm um, 50 more pages into The Song Will Save Your Life. I can give you an exact one. 150. Told you it was 50. Um, and something has happened that I'm not a big fan of. And I'll tell you at the end, but I only have like 120 pages left. So, stay tuned. I'm definitely going to finish it soon. I might finish it before Thanksgiving dinner. And that would be great. And I already figured out what my next book is. But we'll wait until we're done. This song will save your life. And I'll give you an update. So, 120 more pages. Great. Doing great. Great at reading. Hey. So I finished The Song Will Save Your Life by Lila Sales, and I think I'm going to give it three stars. It had a lot to do with mental illness, which was great, but maybe I would have liked it if I was in like a darker place. Like I'm on medicine now, so that's good. So although I could have related to Elise before I didn't really relate to her now because the medicine is good and it has saved my life so oh no three stars it was very well written I didn't like some things I liked a lot of other things so three stars uh, let's see that's on the floor um so the next book I am going to read is Final Draft by Riley Redgate. I actually don't know anything about this. Maybe it's about writing, which sounds good to me. And it's also like 200 pages, 250 pages. So, very excited to get into this. Can I finish it tonight? I don't know. We shall see. I'm gonna have Thanksgiving dinner soon. Very excited. <laughs> okay. 
Castleman is shining his flashlight on his phone on me, so I don't have to move. But I'm 69 pages into Final Draft by Riley Redgate, and I am not loving it. First of all, she uses at least two M dashes per page, which is overly excessive. Use a fucking comma. So, mm. and then it's written in third person, and then I get, I like lose the story. So, not enjoying this. Gonna wait to see how I feel at page 100, which is my DNF thing. Uh, and I'm going to bed. Tomorrow, we're going to Barnes & Noble in the morning to get signed copies of books and also to get coffee. So it'll be a great day. Stay tuned. At Barnes & Noble on Black Friday, and there's a line, which, like, these are my people. I feel so seen. I just can't believe there's a line to get into a bookstore right now. This is incredible. Happy Black Friday. I'm about to get into this line. Just got out of Barnes & Noble. Was oh. only in there for, like, eight minutes. I uh, I went to a different store last year in Baltimore and they had more books, but this, my local Barnes & Noble did not have as many. Like they had all the ones that they were supposed to, but they only had like two copies of each book. So I got one, so that means I'm glad I went early. But all these editions are signed. That's why I wanted to go. It was great. So I got Wild Card by Marie Lu. I, read this several months ago. I got an arc of it. I thought it was great. I'm very excited to, that I waited to get it. I was going to wait for the paperback, but now that it's signed, you get the signed one. I got, ooh, I think this is, yes, this is the anniversary edition of The Book Thief by Marcus Susak. I read this book like 10 years ago, and I don't own it, but I love that book. So I'm very excited to have a signed copy. This is going great. I got a fantasy book because it looked so pretty. It was just sitting there looking so pretty. I got The Brilliant Death by Amy Rose Capetta. I have heard very good things about this. However, I've heard very good things about this from people who actually like fantasy. So I'm willing to give it a try, whatever. I got A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahira Mafi. I also read this several months ago. I got an e-arc of it. I thought it was good. I'm glad I have the signed copy. And then the last one that I got is also fantasy. I just went wild today is Seafire by Natalie Parker. I've heard mixed things about this, but your girl can't control herself with signed editions. So that's what I got. We got Starbucks. Uh, it was buy one, get one free. So yay. And now we're going to Target to see what kind of mess that is. So Barnes Noble was successful. Yay. Am I close enough? Can I be closer? Do I look good? Am I close enough? Let me hold up a book. Can you see it? I'm gonna put this in an outtake. <laughs> So I just uploaded a video and filmed another video and I'm going to film another video so that means I have not read at all today and honestly I don't like I'm not excited to read final draft but I will read it um and uh, I will let you know when I start reading again oh I am editing this vlog together and my last clip is I'll let you know what I'm reading and it's currently 316 and I filmed three videos and edited two videos three videos I edited three and this vlog and I still haven't read so it's 317 I'm going to upload this video and then I'm going to change into sweatpants and then I am going to read for the rest of the night and I'll let you know when I get to page 100 of final draft how I feel about that if I'm going to DNF it and start something else. So stay tuned. Hello, it's me and I'm trash because I'm DNFing Final Draft after 75 pages. I couldn't even make it to 100. This shit is not good. It sincerely has two M dashes per page and the writing is trash. So I couldn't even pretend to like it anymore, and I'm gonna unhaul it. <laughs> I just got it. Whatever. 
Um, so let me show you what I'm going to read next. I just got this from the library and it's being turned into a Netflix movie and that is Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. So I'm going to start that now and I will keep you updated. I don't know how many pages it is. My hair looks a hot mess. It's like like 260 pages so we shall see but for now I have DNF to book which of course I did so stay tuned hello let me go back and um, explain what final draft is about from the 75 pages that I completed final draft is about a girl named Layla who wants to write science fiction books and her mentor teacher got in an accident so now she has a new mentor and that's as far as I got. I can say that it being written in third person was really disconnecting for me like I never got a sense of who Layla was other than this like girl who uh, was timid and didn't let anyone except her one mentor read her writing. Since it was written in third person, I also kept getting the characters confused. She had like a girl best friend named Hannah and that's the only character I can distinctly remember besides Layla. She had two boy best friends and I cannot remember anything about them. They probably could have been the same person for me. It was just not well written and I was looking at other two star reviews on Goodreads and I felt exactly how these other two star reviews felt. I felt very disconnected. I did not like the third person writing and it just wasn't for me. I felt like yes it's a contemporary but it should have been written in first person. I don't know like I don't know what else to tell you. It should have been written in first person. So that's what Final Draft is about. I'll never know the ending because I unhauled it. But We'll start Bird Box now and see how that goes. That has a 4.00 rating on Goodreads, which is pretty good. So I'm pretty excited to read that. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what the Netflix film is about. I don't know anything about this other than it has good ratings. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so I am 162 pages into Bird Box by somebody Josh Mallerman and it is good I only have 100 pages left but I got so into this book so fast so I'm watching Hallmark movies and I'll probably finish it tomorrow and then start another book but Bird Box is great I'm loving it a lot I will give you a brief synopsis it's about this dystopian world where I don't want to tell you too much because I didn't know anything about it and I think it was best that way, but a woman and her children are going down a river blindfolded and it goes back in time to present day and when this dystopian world started and it is very good and I have 100 pages left, I'll finish it tomorrow, but um, good night. Okay, so oh, it's Saturday morning. I got up so early because I had a weird dream, but I just finished Bird Box and it was so good. I have a no idea how they're going to do this movie because shit was crazy. I gave it four stars. I have no idea what I'm going to read next. I think I'm going to read a book that I haven't hauled yet, so... You will see it twice, you'll see it in my November book haul, and you'll probably see it now. And I think I'm going to start That Night by Amy Giles. I believe it's about the aftermath of a school shooting, I think. But I'll keep you updated when I start actually reading it and I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's Saturday morning, I've already finished a book, so things are going great. Okay, so I am 100 pages into That Night by Amy Giles, and it is really good. I, the only reason I read her first book, Now Is Everything, is because of Emma from Emma Books, and I had never heard of Amy Giles before, and she writes some intense 
shit. So now is everything is about a girl who has an emotionally and physically abusive father. And I had never read anything like that before. It was intense. And that night is about the aftermath of a shooting, not a school shooting, but it was a shooting kind of like at a mall, like an outdoor mall, I think. It's not like very specific, at least 100 pages in where the shooting took place. It just like they keep referring to the balcony, but it's survivors and they're 16 and 17 years old, a boy and a girl. So it's their relationship after it. I'm only 100 pages in, but it is very good. I'm definitely going to finish it today, which is great. And then I don't know what I'm going to read after that, but I'm just focusing on that night right now. It is very good. I definitely suggest it. And Now Is Everything by Amy Giles. If you're more... If, if you're into more serious YA contemporary like I am, I mean, I like serious YA every once in a while, but it's a good one. So stay tuned. I'll let you know when I finish this book. It's going great. Well, after a pizza break, I finished That Night by Amy Giles, and I'm going to give it 3.5 stars. I really liked that it was about a shooting, but it wasn't about the what the shooter. Like we never know we anything about really the shooting itself. It's just the people who survived it and how they're surviving afterwards. So I thought that was really good. The writing was great, great mental health representation. I just felt like it wasn't like super original. So that's why I'm giving it three and a half stars. And now I'm just looking at my bookshelves and I'm trying to figure out what the heck to read next. So stay tuned. Okay, so I decided to next read Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. This is actually an ARC edition that I got last year at Y'all Fest that I haven't read. And I know that it came out in May. So, and uh, Chelsea Dowling reads, let me start over. Chelsea from Chelsea Dowling reads, really liked it. I think she read it during Contemporary Thon. So I'm hoping they also like it. And uh, stay tuned for my 100 page mark update. So I am on page 105 of Girl Made of Stars and I'm going to keep reading it. I don't know if it's the writing but it seems a little slow I don't know but it is about a girl and her twin brother and her twin brother's girlfriend accuses him of rape so I did like just got to the part where they have like a family meeting and they talk about what he claims did or didn't happen and I don't I just think maybe it's the writing style is a little slow but I'm interested enough that I don't want to DNF like I'm definitely not going to DNF it's just taking me much longer to read than it normally does like this took me three hours to read 100 pages which is not normal for me but I will definitely finish it tomorrow and I will keep you updated throughout the day and good night. Hello, it's Sunday morning still, I think. Uh, I just finished Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake and holy crap, this was a five star read. I don't know what was happening to me the first 100 pages, but I was not into it. But literally as soon as I picked it up again this morning, it took me like less than two hours to read the rest of it. It was amazing. The writing was amazing. The representation was amazing. The ending was amazing. This book is amazing. So if you're looking for a five-star contemporary, this is it. It's amazing. I have to fold my laundry and then I have to do a video interview and then I'm going to read another book. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you my book. Okay, bye. Okay, I folded my laundry, which was great. I did my 
video interview, which was not great at all. And then I took a shower, which was great. And then I have decided my next book, which is Odd One Out by Nick Stone. I don't know much about this, but I really liked Dear Martin by her. It was like the second book I read this year. So, very excited for this. It's less than 300 pages, so I should be able to get it done today. And it'll be great. Hello, so it's only been like an hour since I last updated that I was reading Odd One Out, but I have read four books in four days and I'm not going to kill myself to finish Odd One Out, so I'm just going to stop this weekend reading vlog here. It's the afternoon of Sunday, November something, I'll put it here, and I'm also going to upload this today, but I just didn't want, I don't know, I'm probably going to sit and watch booktube the rest of the day and I'm not even going to pretend to read. So I just wanted to give you a recap of everything that I read this weekend because this vlog's getting very long. Um, who's the first book I read? Okay, so the first book I read was The Song Will Save Your Life by Lila Sales. I gave this three stars. I really didn't like a relationship that happens in here. Um, and I'm actually thinking of unhauling this because I only gave it three stars. But we will see. I liked her newest release. Um if you don't have anything nice to say, better that came out this year. I gave it four stars. The next book that I attempted to read was Final Draft by Riley Redgate. I got 75 pages into this and DNF'd it because I didn't like the writing style. There were M dashes, two M dashes per page. It was just bad writing. I did not like the third person. I didn't like anything about this book, so I DNF'd it. So technically I didn't read it, but my title is going to be, I read four book, four and a quarter books in four days. So then I read Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. I already returned it to the library because I have this weird anxiety. Like I don't like holding on to books once I finish them that don't belong to me. So I like immediately took it back to the library. I don't know, but I really liked it. I gave it four stars. I thought it was such a cool concept and you don't really know what's happening, and it was so good. I really like this book. It was a good one. Do suggest, cannot wait for the Netflix movie because I don't know how they're gonna do that, so cool. The next book that I read was That Night by Amy Giles. I gave this three and a half stars. I really liked this. It doesn't sound like it because of the rating. It just wasn't the most original thing I have ever read, which is why I docked it like point star so that's really it I like Amy Gow's writing a lot I'm definitely gonna read her next book I mean there was nothing severely wrong with it I thought it was good it just wasn't the most original thing I've ever read and the last book that I completed this morning was Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake this book was so good the first 100 pages I was a little iffy and I was not excited to continue it, but I continued it this morning. I flew through the last 200 pages. It was so good. It was so good. It was intense. It had great representation of mental illness, of PTSD, of sexual assault, of LGBTQ, of everything. It was just amazing. This was amazing. And then the last book that I am currently reading is Odd One Out by Nick Stone. I am, I like started it an hour ago and I'm 12 pages in because I got sucked in to YouTube that I have missed all weekend because I have been reading up a storm. So, thank you for watching this very long four day weekend reading vlog. I will see you in my next one. Bye!